every reseller has jumped on this camera trend. There's a lot of money to be made on cameras on eBay at the moment, and all the resellers are queuing around cars asking for cameras now. So gone are the days when video games were the thing. Now everybody's after a camera. If you're the sort of person like me that misses out, don't be sorry, be better. To help you get an advantage over all these greedy little resellers, I'm doing some bolo videos and today I'm looking at four different things that sell well on eBay. Of course, we're all greedy little resellers really, aren't we? Tip number one. A company called Spin Masters in 2007 launched a new toy called Bakugan. These were in collaboration with Sega. And if you get any of these from 2007 to 2010, some of these are worth a lot of money, as you're about to see now. These are all still out there at the car boot. You can find them in rummage boxes. The little plastic balls have a magnetic card. When you put the magnetic card on the ball, it opens up and transforms. Now, as you can see, some of these are worth hundreds. Some of them are worth 30, 50, and if you get a lot of them, they're going to do quite well. But you're looking at the years 2007 to 2010 Bakugans, because that's where the money's at. Although some of the modern ones do do quite well. You've got to be very careful of fakes, though, because these were really badly faked. And you can watch YouTube videos like this to find out how to identify a fake. Tip number two. This is really crazy, but people actually collect limited edition Red Bull cans. Not just Red Bull, but also Monster and various other soda cans. So look at some of the prices of these now. It's absolutely insane. Some of these uh, cans are probably going back to 2010. Now, a lot of them, if they're out of date, you can't sell them on eBay. You've got to basically have an empty can to sell it on eBay. So a lot of people are either opening the can and pouring the drink out or they're piercing holes in the can, as you can see very shortly. But it's worth keeping on to a few of these for the future if you've got the storage space because they do go up. And I would advise that you pick up the current ones, the Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez cans that are out there now. Tip number three, and this is something I learned recently. A couple called Matt and Emma Rice formed a company called, it's called Emma Bridgewater, so it's by her, and she does pottery. There's a lot of kitchenware produced by this Stoke-on-Trent company. You can pick up a lot of animal statues and also a lot of milk jugs, and these fetch a lot of money, and the company's still going to this day. So there's various different stamps to look out for. I'm going to show you a couple of the stamps very shortly, but if you find any of these products at the car boot, pick them up for a certainty. So these are the more modern Emma Bridgewater stamps and the older ones from the 80s. Tip number four was something I stumbled on at the car boot the other week, and it was called Kosen. It was a soft toy by Kosen. As you can see, these are really well designed. They've got the wooden Kosen tag on them, and I would love to have this Wolf one personally, but it costs way too much money. So these sell for high prices, and if you have a look at the next picture, you'll see the item that I sold on eBay last week for £79.99, the Well Boar. I hope to do more Bolo videos like this, but it all depends on the amount of interest it generates and if it generates any new subscribers. I also do videos like car boot hunting and I go around quite a lot of toy fairs so I bring a lot of toy fair videos and while I'm not doing that I also do bolo videos. So guys I just want to say a big thank you for watching today and if you've enjoyed the video hit the subscribe, hit the like, it all helps. If you're just starting out reselling just remember you do make mistakes in the beginning but it's all a learning curve. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. That has always been my motto. So guys, have a great weekend and find lots of cool stuff at the car boots.